Hi boys and girls, today we're just gonna go over how to play a B, A, and G. Let's go over the hand position first. Remember your left hand goes on top, your right hand goes on bottom. So we're gonna take our right hand and place that on the bell of your recorder. Most of you have your name tag on there. And then you're gonna put your instrument on your chinny, chin, chin. So your right hand's on the bottom. Let's take your left thumb and place that on the back hole that's all by itself. And the rest of the fingers, you're gonna wave hello, hello, hello everybody. Let's put your first finger down on the first hole. So your first finger goes down on the first hole, and that is the position for the B. I've got a picture right next to me of the B. Every good bird. And again, it indicates here that you've got the hole in the back is covered with your thumb and the first finger in front. So that's what I'm doing with my fingers here. So here's our B note. So B, my echo. Great job. Now let's change to the A note. Let's see if I can do this without it falling apart. Hey, we did it. So the A note, the letters of space spell face, F-A-C-E. So the way we play A, we've got two fingers covered in the front and the thumb in the back. So again, your right hand is on the bell, your left thumb is on the back hole, your first finger is down, and your second finger is down. First hole, second hole. And this is the position to play the A note. So A, my echo. One, two, me, first. Great job, everybody. Let's move on to the G note. The G note. So, as the picture indicates here, the G is on the second line. Every good bird does fly. So we've got the G note, that's what we're playing. So, um, we are going to cover that thumb hole in the back and one, two, three fingers in the front. So again, your right hand is on your bell of your instrument, on the name tag for most of you. And your left thumb is gonna be placed on that back hole. Your first finger, your second finger, and your third finger are down on the first, second, and third holes. Your pinky does not play any, any notes at all. It just hangs out there, kind of like you're having a cup of tea, cup of tea. So G, my echo. One, two, me, first. Great job. Now G can get a little tricky and if you hear yourself squeaking at all, leaks lead to squeaks. So if any air is leaking out of any of those holes, it's going to squeak. Your recorder is going to squeak. So you want to make sure that you cover the holes completely and G is the trickiest one to do that because you've got four holes to cover. So let's try that again. Wiggle your fingers around and make sure the padding of your fingers are covering the hole completely. All right, let's try the G again, making sure you're covering the holes completely. Me first, or should I say G first. Great job, everybody. Keep practicing and have a great day.